All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in for another quick little channel CGE video. Today I'm here with the PT Cruisers. As you can see, we got my 2004 PT Cruiser GT turbocharged along with this 2007 PT Cruiser Touring Edition with the naturally aspirated 2.4 liter. So I did a comparison of these two cars a while back and I'll link that video right up in the in the cor top corner there. You can go check it out if you want to. I'll also throw it down below. So of course in the comparison we knew that this one was gonna be faster obviously, but this one in comparison was really slow. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be throwing a turbocharger kit on this one. It is a SRT4 JDM Ken Block turbocharger kit for the PT Cruisers. It's really rare and it adds like 250 horsepower instantly, bolt-on kit. Let's get to work. All right, so all trolling aside, what we're actually doing is we're going to be installing one of these on the naturally aspirated PT Cruiser. Most of you guys probably have already seen one of these somewhere on the internet at some point already. What it is is a turbo whistle which is basically a whistle, like a dog whistle sort of a thing, uh, hooked up to this, I don't know what you call it, just thing, and you shove this up in the tailpipe, like so, air comes out, it makes it whistle, and it's supposed to sound exactly like a turbo. So what we're gonna do today, since we have a turbocharged and a non-turbocharged car that is very similar, except, of course, the turbocharged car is muffler, delete, straight pipe, whatever you wanna call it, and then this one is not, we're going to install this today on this and we're going to kind of do a comparison. See, I mean it's obvious that the actual turbocharged one is going to sound a lot more realistic, but what we're going to do is find out exactly how realistic or unrealistic this little turbo whistle sounds. Now we're back doing racer things over a year later with this. So without further ado, let's start putting this on the car and then we'll get some idle sounds we'll see how they sound idle and then we'll see what they sound like you know revving so without further ado let's get this thing installed on the na pt cruiser all right ladies and gentlemen so here we are in the back of the car i want to apologize in advance that the car is really dirty it's that time of the year as you know anyways here's the turbo whistle i got this on amazon for about it was like eight or ten bucks i'll link it down below this is the extra large version it comes in a few different sizes Forgot what they were, but the biggest has got to be the best, of course, because this is complete ricer move. So we gotta we gotta think like a ricer and act like a ricer. So I got two bolts under here. Looks like what's gonna happen is we're gonna shove this in here, and then we're gonna use these two bolts to essentially get it level and tight. So and I don't have metric wrenches out here, so I'm gonna go even further ricer and use these pliers. Still not exactly sure how this is going to work, but I think I got it figured out. So we're going to throw it in here. Looks like this bolt, I'm just going to leave it in like that. And we're going to throw this in here like that. That looks pretty good. It's pretty centered in the pipe, it looks like. Get it tightened down with these fancy smancy pliers. It's in there pretty good. I don't think it's going to go any place. Looks like we got this nut on here to kind of help tighten things down, make sure you're Nice expensive little turbo kit, doesn't go flying out your tailpipe. We got the little thing in there, looks like it's pretty centered. So let's fire up the car and see what the whistle sounds like. <laughs> it does actually sound a little bit like a turbo. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. It does sound a little bit. It, it chirped like a like a whistle when I first started it up, though. That was kind of weird, but <laughs> that's funny as heck. All it does is whistle when I really punch it. I suppose, what do you expect? God, that's funny. Anyways, now that we got this little thing put on, let's do a little comparison of fake versus real turbo.
All right, so the video I've actually edited up to this point so that I could hear how they sound compared to each other, and I think it was a bust. Honestly, standalone, the fake turbo didn't sound bad. It was kind of funny. At idle especially, it sounded a little bit like a, a spool. Y you know, it was, it, we got a lot of laughs out of it here, but when you put them side by side, you can hear how much more real the real turbo sounds and how fake this one does and how st stupid it is, really. It was still really funny and, you know, I suppose it could be improved, but it was a lot of fun and it was a lot of fun to make this video and a lot of fun to mess around with that stupid little whistle. Something else I realized is here on the actual whistle, you can see there's this like uh, silencer, sort of, a, or not not like a sat. well, I don't know what you call it, but it's like a, a thing I'll screw in and out. Probably if I had unscrewed that, it would have made a difference in the way it whistled, like when I would really rev up, because that was really unrealistic that it just whistled instead of like, you know, spooling. If you see without the silencer, it still, still whistles a lot. So I really don't think that would have made much of a difference if I'd had that removed when we did the tests. But anyways, in the end, not very realistic at all, but a lot of fun. We got a lot of laughs out of it, like I said, and it was a kind of a funny eight or 10 bucks to spend. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little channel CG video as much as I enjoyed making it. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. If you did enjoy this, I also suggest you go check out my really cringy old video that's got a lot of views about a fake blow-off valve that I actually put on my old S10 pickup truck back when it was still running. I'll link it down below and I'll put it up here in the corner. Be sure and go check that out as well. Also, subscribe to see stuff whenever it comes out. I always have a new upload every Sunday, but do a lot of stuff other times of the week as well. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. You rock. God bless, and I will see you in the next one.